Welcome to Car Traction, the RIMAC Concept 2. This car is at the pinnacle of motoring technology. Perhaps I should even say it's from the future. The RIMAC represents a new breed of hypercar and shows us what future cars may be like. However, the RIMAC is no concept car. The RIMAC Concept 2 is a real car for real people and can be bought for much, much money. In this video, I will delve into this extraordinary car that is alive with technology. If you enjoy this video, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Rimac is not from what most people consider to be a desirable background. No, I am afraid it's not from Italy. This car is actually the passion of Matteo Rimac, who is from Croatia. If you are disappointed at that, then this really isn't your sort of car. It's not like a Ferrari 458, for example. People won't recognise it on the road. Somebody could buy a 458 just to say that they have a Ferrari. The Rimac is meant for the person who buys a car to drive it, and in the Rimac's case, drive it very quickly indeed. The Rimac's blistering performance will always tempt the driver to put the foot down. After doing this, the driver will find himself very, very far away from where he was before. The Rimax handling will also prompt the driver just to chuck it around a corner or two and leave that 458 in its clean, economical dust. If you find yourself at a red light and another supercar pulls alongside you, you'll find it's two gears more than enough to keep that oh-so-common Lamborghini very far behind. Matteo Rimac is still a petrol head though. He drives around in a V8-engined BMW M5, which proves that he's not all about economy and electricity. He simply chose electricity because it was faster. The Rimac has an electric motor for each wheel, and as a whole, the car produces 1,914 brake horsepower. You can even open it with your face. However, this was not Rimac's first rodeo. The predecessor to the Concept 2 is the Concept 1, which is no slouch either. The Concept 1 was an electric car too and produced 1,340 brake horsepower and, goes and went from 0 to 60 in 2.5 seconds. This car became even more famous when Richard Hammond lost control of the car at a hill climb and ended up rolling it down a hill a few times before ending up in a fiery blaze. Hammond escaped the crash with a few injuries but he has recovered. Ironically, sales were boosted after this, possibly because his lucky escape showed how safe the car is. When building the Concept 2, Rimac had nothing to base their car on because nobody embarked on such a huge project before. There was no existing platform, powertrain or any electrics and more. So Rimac had to build from the ground up, which possibly actually benefited them because this meant they could tailor make all their components which gave Rimac much more freedom. Rimac's crash testing program is so rigorous that 9 out of 17 Concept 2 prototypes would have been tested, which could disappoint the car enthusiast. Amazingly, the Concept 2 system can load selected racetracks, offering guidance on racing lines, braking or acceleration points, and even steering inputs. Facial recognition even opens its gullwing doors. In track mode, the aero brake reacts in from 0.3 seconds from the driver pressing the brake pedal, and the tyres are bespoke to cope with that huge power. In short, a truly fantastic car.